Hello there, folks, and welcome to another edition of... This is it, just, just, just in. First up in the news, earlier this week, Enrique Tario, the leader of the Proud Boys, was recently revealed to have a past history as an informant for the FBI. Reuters recently reported that in courtroom documents from a case involving Torreo, information was revealed that the leader of the Proud Boys was a, quote, prolific informer for the authorities. His exploits including busting marijuana grow operations and sales of pharmaceuticals. When asked about this recent revelation, Enrique Tario claimed he didn't recall any of these details. Yeah, right, sure. And in other news, crazy old Nancy Pelosi recently accused members of Congress of wanting to bring guns to work to threaten violence against other members of Congress. Sorry, what, what exactly did you mean when you said the, that the enemy is within? What exactly did, did it you mean It means that we have members of Congress who want to bring guns on the floor and have threatened uh, violence on other members of Congress. Members of Congress hiding machine guns in their tailored suits to force their will on other members of Congress? Well, well, look who's the goofy conspiracy theory nut now. Stop drinking while on your medication, Nancy. Bad and other news. Elon Musk made some waves on Friday when he decided to mention Bitcoin in his Twitter bio. This endorsement immediately sent the price of Bitcoin surging up $6,000 in price. However, the surge did not last long as the price eventually settled back down to its price before his endorsement. Hope you didn't buy at the top. Buy low, sell high. And in other news. The website Reddit recently started a trend of buying stock in GameStop, AMC Entertainment, and Nokia with the goal of destroying hedge fund shorts that were betting billions of dollars that the stocks would decline. Well, due to the Reddit trend, the stock prices accelerated upwards in a fiery explosion that even a stinky candle from Gwyneth Paltrow could not rival. The result was around $19 billion in losses by hedge funds that were blindsided by the coordinated stunt by Reddit. And as a result, we saw some interesting responses from Wall Street traders that were outraged over the actions of the Internet vigilante. Melvin Capital is now out of the stock. They got out of the stock, from what I understand, yesterday afternoon. Uh, I just got off the telephone with Gabriel Plotkin, who runs that firm. Uh, they have taken a, a rather huge loss. I do not have the full number on what that loss looked like. Uh, as was reported yesterday, both Citadel uh, and Point72 have infused something on the order of close to $3 billion dollars into uh, Melvin Capital to try to shore up its finances. Uh, and uh, Gabe Plotkin telling me uh, just moments ago uh, that the speculation that the firm would uh, file for bankruptcy is false. There's some uh, reporting taking place on Reddit where so much of this discussion began and really uh, created uh, the momentum for uh, an, as I said, an army of uh, investors using options to try to press up that price. Um, to some degree, uh, they might be able to argue now that they succeeded. If this was really about uh, vanquishing, if you will, Wall Street or vanquishing uh, a hedge fund manager, uh, in this case, uh, they did take a loss. Uh, they may have not put them out of business, but uh, boy, did they come close. Uh, we've been following this story, which has been such a wild one. Uh, GameStop uh, shares right now. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, I don't even know what to say. It's up 131%, $342 on any kind of fundamental basis. If the stock were worth more than 20 or $30, I think it would be, uh, you know, something to behold. Uh, real questions, of course, about stock manipulation, about uh, the power of what's taking place on places like Reddit, really what's motivating uh, this type of trading behavior at all. It clearly has nothing to do with the fundamentals of GameStop itself uh, anymore and much more to do with uh, uh, sort of uh, pop psychology of uh, who, who's going who's gonna to be left holding the bag. Um, the thing that concerns me most at this point is uh, whether some of these investors will actually start to get out today. They'll look at this and say, we won the game if, if that's winning. Uh, unclear you know, where the finish line is uh, in that regard. But uh, as much pain as they may have uh, created for Melvin Capital, for example, um, my, my great anxiety at this point is the, the number of, of retail investors that have been jumping into this uh, in, the, in the, literally in, in the last 24 hours who very well may get hurt uh, far more and lose far more uh, than some of the hedge funds that were involved uh, in this. Uh, let's just show you where we are right now. Joe mentioned at the top of the program, Elon Musk tweeting yesterday, uh, which also uh, powered the stock even higher. I mean, it's, this is just there's nothing normal about what you're seeing when it comes to this stock right now. Uh, stock up 51 percent on Friday, 18 uh, percent on Monday, 92 percent yesterday. As I said, soaring in the pre-market. 
The reason the market is doing what it's doing is people are sitting at home getting the checks from the government, okay? And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together and pull together. Once again, what, what's one of the... Um one of the things that we're talking about is maybe misinformation and, and uh, pump and dumps, and it's occurring on social media again. It just, I, I'm wondering whether it's part of the same problem, the type of regulation that, that, uh, that we finally need to, uh, to consider. And like I said, uh, we should always have a light touch with regulation, but you're, you're seeing the way things can get started. Again, this is different. Maybe it's Reddit. Maybe it's not Facebook. But you're seeing the, 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 the same situation. The, 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 at this point, it's not about an election. It's not about a, uh, an insurrection. But there are interesting things happening that, that seem to be spawned to some extent or at least, a, at least blown out of proportion by social media again. You know, manipulation is manipulation, whether it's happening through a new technology medium or it's happening through traditional mail. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of making sure that we understand what the behavior is, what's underpinning the behavior, and working appropriately with the regulators to, to, uh, to manage the situation, regardless of the technology that they're using. Of course, the media blamed white supremacy. But the most egregious response came from the stock trading app, Robinhood, that decided to cut off its users' ability to purchase the stocks that had been pumping. What do you say to, to the customer who says, look, maybe I shouldn't be on Robinhood anymore. If they're going to not, if they're going to shut me out right when I, when I need to, to be on the service, maybe I should go to an alternative service. Look, we, we realize customers are upset with this. Uh, it, it was not an easy decision. Um, Ultimately, the team uh, made the correct decision here. So um, what we can do is move forward, focus on giving customers the most stable and reliable platform going forward. Um, and we've, we've invested a lot in that, and we've actually seen some great progress in uh, taking all the steps we can to make sure customers can buy the securities that they want to buy without restrictions in the future. When you look at the trading in these stocks over the past several days, do you think they're divorced from reality? Are you concerned that the investors that are involved in this are, are doing these things for reasons that they fully understand and they fully understand the risks involved? Look, when I, I'm, I'm obviously um, a big believer in more education. I want to make sure that we give customers all the tools and educational resources that we could possibly give them. Um, this is, is really about access, um, and access is something I've been super strong about from the very beginning in the face of a lot of criticism and questions about whether we should be granting people access in the first place. So, yes, I think people need to be informed. They need to be educated. Uh, we do want to give them the ability to do that, but I also believe that uh, access is a very powerful thing. The more individual investors have access to the markets, the better off we will be. And we're going to work tirelessly day in and day out to make sure customers have that access. It's in the name. It's everything we stand for. Now this behavior caused an unlikely moment to occur on Twitter after Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez posted a tweet calling out the Robinhood app for running interference for Wall Street billionaires. Ted Cruz retweeted her message and mentioned he actually agreed with her take. It was a truly unexpected moment as two political polar opposites came together to express their frustration with the obvious interference and the free market. However, the kumbaya moment did not last long because AOC decided to respond to Ted Cruz by accusing him of trying to murder her. It sounds like AOC's been sitting on some of Nancy Pelosi's wine coolers. Cool it, you crazy broads. You're starting to sound like QAnon crazies. But if you thought the investment vigilantes of Reddit would get away with poking the rich folks with a stick, think again. Because it did not take long for the government to step in to defend the billionaires. The SEC has made a public announcement that they are planning to punish those responsible for the recent stock pumps. How far will they go to exact revenge on behalf of the billionaires? I don't know. But I do know this. They don't like it when the poor people start using the tools of the rich. And with billions lost, somebody's got to pay. Do you enjoy these videos? Do you want more of this just in? Well, help us grow. Tell your uncaring family. Tweet it out to your loser friends. Think about me while making love to your spouse. How's about a thumbs up? Maybe check out the Patreon and tip your entertainer. The more feedback these videos get, the more videos I'll make. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to spread the word and tell the world about... 